important is you and Odell developing chemistry? That's very important for for me. It's very important. Off the field, I've I've been able to hang out with him a good amount of times. Cool dude, one hundred percent. But does that translate for you know? Does our relationship translate on the field? Like I I couldn't tell you because I haven't gotten reps with him, and that's just the the honest truth. That's Tua Tagovailoa from Tuesday talking about Odell Beckham Jr., who's been on the physically unable to perform list. We'll start the season on it. We'll miss at least four games before he can be activated. Miles and I talked about this yesterday. The whole thing's weird because yeah. he passed a physical to sign with the Dolphins. He participated in some of the offseason workouts, and then he fails the physical, and he's on the physically unable to perform list. Well, what the hell? What happened that caused this? What's really going on here? It's just weird, Shereen. And before we react any more to that here's chris greer the dolphins gm from yesterday asked this specific question when you signed obj when did you expect him to be ready to go yeah we were very hopeful that it would be around week one here um and to be honest with you guys um we put him down he did not want to go down he feels and he is very close um you guys have seen him glimpses of him running around outside doing stuff um he's very close but for us it was the long play um this wasn't we didn't want him to rush back feeling that he had to rush back and then something happened and it sets us back so this was more mike and i sitting down talking with kyle the trainers and it's, we just felt what's best for him long haul to help us here win games is to um put him down for a little bit right now by the way, pro tip for anyone out there inclined to use the phrase, to be honest with you, that implies that you otherwise aren't honest. It's always better to say to be candid, to be frank, or to be blunt, because that's really what you mean, unless you do intend to imply that without that disclaimer, you're otherwise dishonest. Anyway, I have no reason to doubt his honesty on this. They made a calculation. There was some sort of procedure, and they won't talk about what the injury was, what the procedure was. They don't have to because there's no injury reports yet, and there won't be for OBJ until he's activated from the pup list. But they apparently knew something was going on, but they paid him $3 million, and they had high hopes, and they did nothing to reel those in. That's the problem. It feels like the Dolphins stepped in a pile of something stinky here because – there was never a caveat applied. Hey, it's going to take some time for him to be ready. They didn't do any of that. So now it looks like they, they made a purchase that they're having regrets about, and they're circling the wagons to say that, no, they don't. Well, the bigger problem for them, Mike, is River Craycraft got hurt in the preseason and is on injured reserve. I think they have four receivers on injured reserve, and now Odell Beckham also was out the first four games. They don't have a third receiver. They got two guys. Braxton Berrios right now is their third guy. To me, they're in trouble. Like, you've got to have more than two receivers until Odell Beckham gets back. And guess what? This isn't the same guy that that we've known, Mike. 2019 was his last 1,000-yard season. He was great his first three seasons. Not so great the last six seasons. 3,800 yards over the last six seasons. This is not a great receiver anymore. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.